All right, so good morning, guys. So I want to take you through, through this uh, portrait game. So yesterday we created our Voki. You should have said some of the hobbies that you kind of had tied in there uh, that, that you had. So we, we went ahead and watched the Vokis. Now it's time to make your portrait. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this document here. Uh, what you're going to be doing is making a QR code that links to a self-portrait that you made. This first sheet is the answer sheet that we'll use for the game. So you don't need to know this right away. Let's scroll down to page two, though. Okay, so what it says, it says, download Drawing Desk, draw Paint Doodle sketch on your iPad. Or you can use anything on your iPad that you can use to sketch or draw a picture of yourself. All right, I think you can actually do this in Notability. Uh, whatever works for you, okay? So open the app and sketch yourself. Once again, I use this because it's, a, it's made for sketching. Uh, and my picture, I think, came out pretty good. So I'll show you that in a second here. What you're going to do is draw a self-portrait, all right, a picture of yourself along with other clues that resemble you. All right, you cannot use any words. So once again, use some of those hobbies that you might have talked about in the Vokey uh, so that you can make a connection with who is who in the, in the class here. Because what you're going to be doing is the Vokies, we introduced ourselves, our names, and our hobbies, and now we're going to go ahead and play a game where you know, if you were paying attention, which hopefully you were, you can think back to who, what some of those hobbies and those classmates' names were. All right? Uh, so what you're going to do is, you know, please take your time on this. Be creative. Have fun. All right? This should take maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. All right? So let me just show you what I drew. And I just did a quick one. Uh, let me find it quick. Here it is. Okay, so this is what mine looks like. All right? Uh, Hopefully this resembles me somewhat. Um, I like rock music, so you can see I have my fingers kind of in that rock and roll, you know, pose or whatever. All right. So from here, you are going to draw, and then you need to upload this picture to your Google Drive. Okay. So you can do that a very uh, a few different ways. I screenshotted mine by hitting the home button and the, the lock button on my iPad went into my gallery, and then I uploaded it to Google Drive. You should know how to do that. And now here is my <clears throat> file. The first thing I want to do with this file, once it's uploaded, is I need to go to the Share, go to Advanced, and then change it from Private to anyone with the link can view. You guys may have used these two down here. But you, that means you have to be signed into your account, and sometimes I'm not, or sometimes your classmates aren't. So just this is the easiest way to go. Use that one, and then can view, and save. You're then going to copy that link. I hit Control-C. All right, go ahead and copy. All right, and then hit Done. If I go back into my uh, assignment here, it says go to qrstuff.com. From here, you take that link, you upload it, right there. It will show you your QR code right here, and then you are done. You go ahead and hit download QR code. All right, and then go ahead and save it to your, I'm going to save it to my H drive, whatever. <clears throat> oh boy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save it here, QR code. And you can see it's saving down here, and this doesn't matter, so I'm just going to say no thanks and open up my QR code. Okay, now comes the tricky part, printing. All right, if you need to set up your printer, I have a link back on the lesson plan that shows you how to do that as well. Okay, go to print. Make sure you're printing to C121 LJ02. Okay, this is the one we want. If you see this one, CLJ01, that means color laser jet. This just means laser jet, the LJ. Okay, so I want that one. Now you can see our page here, it's super huge, okay? That's because we have it selected to full page photo, and you just scroll all the way down and go to wallet, okay? And now make sure you deselect this right here. You can see how it changes. All right, it gives me the full picture. Go ahead, deselect that, and you're going to hit print, okay? I'm not going to because I don't need to, all right? So once you get that all printed off, <clears throat> you need to write your name, somewhere down here in this area. So what I'm going to do is then create an answer key, put a number above here, and then we're going to go ahead and play the game. And I'll explain the game uh, tomorrow. 
but I need you to write your name down here, legibly, all right, so I can cut out your QR code and get an answer sheet put together. Okay, once that's done, you're done for the day. Once again, take take your time on the on the drawing. Uh, make it fun. Make it, you know, as close as you can to uh, to resemble you. Um, and then, uh, once again, this is an art class, so if you're if you're not an artist or if you suck at drawing, I'm just looking for you to try. Okay, give it a good shot. So, with that said, I will shut up and you guys can get to work. Thank you.